Big Nation's 47 here. Und welcome back. Hi. to get in and out. Yes, their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? How does it work? Next. Next. Uh, Virgil. The scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. Uh -huh. A rogue institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That kind of makes sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. That's Perfect hiding spot. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way mm -hmm. to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. Power armor. Anti-radiation. How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radex, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor. That would be perfect. Sweet. I'll find a I'll way. Find a way. Rats. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant okay. while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Sweet. Bows. You searching? You searching stuff for me, bruh? <gasps> we got a magazine. What is this? Guardians of the Barbarian Hollow Tape Game. Nice. I actually really am looking forward to that one. Uh oh. Did I just steal something? No. Okay. It like flashed red for a second and I was concerned. I'll leave all that for you, dear. I figure you probably need it. Being all doctory. Up like way way upstairs? Right. Hey, Valentine. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg? Okay, Is that you? What? What are you talking about? Sound like Kellogg. Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City. Okay. If you've got company already. Uh, let's, let's take Nick. It's been one heck of a ride so far. Let's see where it takes us next. I'm sending Preston Garvey to Hangman's Alley. Thanks, bro. Oh, wait, hang on. Excuse me, something you need? I want to trade a few things. Trade. Of course. Of course. Anything else? Thanks. No. No. Nope. No problem. The detective's life isn't an easy one, hey. but it rarely lasts. <laughs> That's a cigarettes. That's funny. Alright, I need to give you the road leathers. And some of this other armory business. <coughs> oh. 
Oh, really? You can't wear it. How funny is that? Fair play. All right, well, I'll store that for later. See you, Preston. You have a good day, sir. Nick, so I, I gotta get Nick up to maximum thingy. Affinity. <laughs> and then we can... Uh... Oh, pardon me. Get out of here, Preston. I want to try something, actually. That is to say... Uh, let's see, where is that at? Grognak the Barbarian game that I just got. Grognak and the Ruby Ruins. Okay. You find yourself... In a worn but well-kept tavern, filled with all manner of folk, it's time to recruit some help for your quest to stop Grelock. To whom do you speak? <sighs> Let's talk to Swift. I have a choice. Mother said to get off my behind in quest, so quest I must. At least my elven slaves or salves, sorry. My elven cells will protect us from harm. Sure. Yeah. It's a text-based role-playing game. That's so cool. <laughs> will this quest provide time for leisure, gambling, wine, revelry of any sort? No? Great. Just great. To whom will you speak? Power of the cosmos are at my command, this Grelock. Complete fraud, parlor tricks, and mirrors. So, to keep things challenging, I'll limit myself to putting enemies to sleep. Sure. One rule, though. Don't ever interrupt me while I am clearly manipulating the fabric of reality. And not just mumbling to myself. Party's complete. Venture forth and stop. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. <laughs> Battle of Bathe in Shadows. The chapel is humble and nondescript except for faintly uh, glowing runes on the walls. As you walk in, a giant bear of a man silently comes up behind you. Welcome. You are in the house of Tain Dech. Dech? Is that how you say that? If you ever require this healing, his healing, please return here. In the meantime, feel free to exalt him. Okay. Cool. Oh my gosh, I got. I, so good. You face two goblins, one orc and one goblin shaman. A screeching goblin. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Twelve damage. <clears throat> what a base did. Sleep, spell, meditate, recover. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Uh, yeah. All right, we'll do a sleep spell. Sweet. Okay. Iron skin salve. Good. Nice. Grognak for 10 damage. Okay. Uh, let's go with... Uh, 20 hit point? Let's try Furious Rage. Nice. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. 
Sterling Gork brandishing a rusty axe charges at you recklessly. Hits swift for 12 damage. Okay. Um, let's do. We'll do another Furious Rage. I'm okay with that. Oh, well, fine. Okay. Can you do a sleep cell? Will that work? Nice. Nice. Recover. Let's just attack. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, this is so cool, man. Okay. Dang, ah, uh, frick, okay. Nice. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh, you, you bastard. There you go. Oh, Shaman's dead. You won the battle. 20 gold and a Mercurian Voodoo doll. Who will you give the Mercurian Voodoo doll? Let's give it <coughs> to my healer, Swift. Okay. Before leaving, you set fire to the wooden ramparts, ensuring that no other creatures can use the garrison. Very cool. I need heals like so bad. Thank you. Alright. <coughs> Seriously, <laughs> this is so awesome. <laughs> I love that. I love this game. Um We're gonna we're gonna end it here. I don't know I I think I'll play more of this game first to kind of see uh, if I can determine like a generalized walkthrough for it and then once I have that figured out then we'll uh, I'll like do a couple of recordings where we where we go through the each of the games uh, or like th th this game at least the other ones are pretty straightforward like there's asteroids or the, the derivative thereof there's uh, missile command I think it's called and it's in a, like real life. It's called Missile Command. In this game, it's called something else, where where you have to d destroy the nukes as as they're falling. Till next time, guys. Bumblebee Tuna. We'll see you next video.